Basketball Hall of Famer joining me now, Joe Namath. How are you, sir? Tom, I'm feeling well. The family's healthy, and, uh, you know, we're hopeful we get this virus under control. You know, we're showing all these networks, right? We're all showing classic old games. Have you gone back and watched that entire Super Bowl? We all see highlights. I'm sure you've seen highlights ever since. How often have you had a chance to watch the entire game? Wow. Uh, not very often, uh, but I have watched it a few times as recently, even when I was working on the, my book recently, or, you know, last year already, okay? I, that's when I saw it for the first time in its regular TV mode. Uh, we watched game films, uh, you know, the following season with the team, but... Uh, yeah, well, and I still get a kick out of it. You know, the, the final score says it all for me. Uh, well, and for anybody who remembers that game, uh, and for those of us in New England, we've watched a lot of the New York Jets since. Tom Brady is no longer in the division. So does that mean the door finally opens up for the Jets a little bit? Well, if you don't have to play against Tom, you've got a better chance of coming out on top. You see, let's put it that way. That goes with every team. Tom certainly has answered the challenges uh, more often and better than anyone that's ever been challenged that many times. So it can be looked at without Tom, it's a different team. It's a different offense. It's different personnel. And uh, I'm confused why they let him get away or how he, you know, uh, was it a money issue? Or I don't know. It's uh, uh I, I don't understand it, but I'll be watching Tampa Bay, I promise you. I think the Buccaneers' ratings in Boston are going to be through the roof. I think it's safe <laughs> to say that. Uh, listen, what I mean, we talk about a quarterback, and I'm not sure there's a position in another sport that's more important to a team. When a guy like that goes into a new franchise, goes into a new team that's been really meandering for a long time, does the culture – change right away does he come in and is he one guy a quarterback able to get a franchise going in a different direction that quickly yeah well i believe so a player can do that can lift the team sure especially in tom's case uh going back uh, many years changing teams and all uh you get some new blood on the team that can certainly play and it can even happen with a rookie bringing a rookie in and i say that because of a guy we brought in one time uh, as a rookie, John Riggins, he changed our team. You know, he picked us up, man. You know, we didn't even have to know what he did in college, just watching him in practice and the way he carried himself. He lifted the team. Tom's going to lift this team, of course. You know, we were just, we were talking about you coming on the show and, and we're talking about the connections to Boston. We had Derek Sanderson on the show a couple weeks ago and, and, you know, he's told me the story about getting involved with you with the restaurants and you bringing him in. I mean, I, I can't imagine what it must have been like to be sitting at a table with Broadway <laughs> Joe Namath and Derek Sanderson uh, at the height of all of that. Those must have been some interesting nights. Well, they were interesting. As you know, uh, Derek, uh, he's been through a lot and he's still around, man. I've been through some, some things and I'm still around. We, we both... Uh, uh, he on the ice and off the ice slipped up from time to time, and I did too. And we learned from it. And I understand, I haven't spoken with Derek recently, but I understand he's doing well. He is. It was great to have him on. And, uh, you know, both of you are so inspirational for a lot of people with your stories. Uh, you're also doing a lot of great work right now with your foundation. I know you've been at the forefront trying to help. You know, uh, children's charities, obviously, you've always been involved in that, but the neurological research you're involved in now, how, how gratifying is it for you at this stage of your life to be able to give back to some of that? It's still a team effort. <laughs> you know, it's a life is a team effort. It's a team game. It's the big game. And uh, relying on people, having responsibilities, we learn along the way. Without other people, man, uh, whether it's the foundation or everyday life, without their love and work and all, what would we do? What would I do? You know, so I, I'm respectful of being a part of something that is helping out. And uh, without the people that are with me and I'm with, uh, I'd be lost. You mentioned, so, uh, you, 
you mentioned leaving the team, you know, like Tom. I left my last year New York and went out to Los Angeles. No, that's right. I was going to ask you that. You know what it's like to suddenly take your career and try to finish it off at a different stage. At a different time, too, in different circumstances, different situation. And I met some people that are still friends, lifelong friends. It was a great change. Athletically on the field, it wasn't a big change. Uh, I mean, it wasn't as good as we would have liked. But I can remember on Christmas night out there in 1977, sitting uh, on a jetty on the Pacific Ocean outside of the apartment that uh, I had rented, being alone, being alone. And, and I'm talking to my uh, spirituality and, and listening, you know, and uh, I, I'm looking around, Tom, and I see all these stars in that vast universe. And I, I'm at the beach. I think, hey, I am not as big as a grain of sand when it comes up to this world, this life, this universe. And without people, without the help, without sharing with respect, uh, you know, I was so small. And I, and I believe that to this day. I'm just a small part of things, man. And if it wasn't for Brooks Thomas, Joe Blady, our, our board on the Joe Namath Foundation and all, they work more than I do. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm at the functions and we help out children's charities and we help out people with traumatic brain injuries and all. And, uh, but th that's just, uh, it started from home. That's fantastic. I, you know, I wanted to ask you this before we let you go. You delivered one of the great guarantees uh, in sports history, right? Can you give us a guarantee that we'll get through this, that uh, we'll get out the other side and all be able to get together and watch a football game again? No, I can't, but I guarantee you one thing. It's important to listen to the medical people. Let's listen to them and follow their guidance. All right? Uh, uh, that, that's all we can only hope. Joe Namath, thank you, my friend. Thank you, Tom. We'll come back with more At Home with DC Continues after this.